According to the AOAC method, 985.29E, and also referred to in the AOAC method 991.43, any sample with a fat content greater than 10% must have the fat removed before determining the amount of dietary fiber. In the conventional method, most labs perform the defatting step in the same beaker in which the enzyme digestion occurs. While this method would work with the ANCOM TDF dietary fiber analyzer, many would find transferring the sample from the beaker into the IDF filter bag or the IDF flow-through bag less than efficient. As a result, we have developed a defatting method using an ANCOM XT4 filter bag in an effort to eliminate sample loss. The XT4 filter bag is used in the ANCOM XT fat extractors. The bag has a porosity of 1 to 4 microns. As a result, the likelihood of sample loss is eliminated. In this video presentation, we will demonstrate how to defat your sample prior to running the IDF, SDF, or TDF analyses. First, number all of the necessary XT4 filter bags to be used for testing. Record the weight of each XT4 filter bag. It is important to note that the weight of the XT4 filter bag must be included in the calculation in the following ways. For an IDF SDF analysis, add the weight of the XT4 filter bag to the weight of the IDF bag. For a TDF analysis, add the weight of the XT4 bag to the weight of the SDF bag. Place each sample to be defatted in the appropriate XT4 filter bags and record the weight. Heat seal the filter bags. With the heat sealer set at 5 or 6, seal the filter bag within 4 millimeters of its open end. Be sure to hold the sealer arm down for 2 to 3 seconds after the red sealer light turns off. This allows the filter media a chance to cool. Soak the bags in petroleum ether. Place all XT4 filter bags into a beaker or other container. Pour enough petroleum ether into the container to cover the bags and allow them to soak in the solvent for 10 minutes. Remove the filter bags from the container and allow the solvent to evaporate until the bags are completely dry. While holding a corner of the XT4 filter bag, place it inside the IDF filter bag or the IDF flow-through bag on the instrument. Cut the XT4 into approximately a dozen pieces, being careful not to lose any sample. If any sample should stick to the scissors, brush it off into the bag. With the TDF analysis, when the enzyme digestion is completed, make sure all XT4 pieces drop from the IDF flow-through bags into the SDF filter bags. If necessary, Use tongs to push pieces of the XT4 bag that have not fallen into the SDF bags. When performing the Keldahl procedure, in order to completely digest the extra XT4 bag material, add 4 to 5 ml more sulfuric acid than is specified in the protein determination section of the operator's manual. The XT4 filter bags do not contain any protein. A small amount of PTFE polymer will not digest during the Caldol procedure. This is of no concern. Finally, when performing the ashing procedure, be sure to use an XT4 ash blank value in the calculation.